this exercise, we are going to link multiple sheets to a master, and we're also going to format multiple sheets at the same time. So the first thing we're going to do is do the number of students. You notice that Hillview has 180 students, and McCartney has 124 students, and we're going to add those together on the master. So we click here on C6. We type equals sum, and I'm going to go ahead and double click on sum to get it started. And then I'm going to click on hill view and hold the shift key down. And while I'm holding the shift key down, I'm going to click on McCartney, McCarthy, and then C6. So I'm going to click on C6. Okay, so the first one is 304. Now, we don't need to do any other formulas for the rest because they're all the same formula. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the fill handle and drag those down. And I'm going to cross, drag across to number of rooms because it's the same formula for number of rooms. Okay, so now on average, we want to do the average of C6 divided by D6. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. That is E6. And I'm going to highlight everything. So I'm going to hold the shift key down and click on McCartney. Now they're all highlighted. So we can do it all at the same time. So if I click equal C6 divided by D6. And then I go ahead and click enter. Now the average number of students per room is on all three sheets. So we're going to go ahead and grab the fill handle and drag that down as well. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is work. These are still highlighted. I've got them all highlighted. So now we're going to uh, change the uh, formatting for the number of rooms and then over capacity and the number of rooms under capacity. So I'm going to highlight the number of rooms over capacity. And while I've got that highlighted, I'm going to right click inside the gray area and I'm going to go to format cells and I'm going to go to custom. And where it says general in type, I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. And I'm going to put a new number in there. So that one is going to be bracket and then type red and then close it with a bracket. And then it's going to be pound, comma, pound, 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 semicolon, semicolon, quotation. And I want to give the zero a minus symbol instead of the zero. So I'm going to put a minus symbol in and then close it with pound and that's it. So now I can click enter or OK. So now the cells are formatted to red and let's just go to one of the ones that has a zero in it. See how this last one for grade eight on overcapacity instead of saying zero it's just got a, a, a minus symbol in it. So now we're going to do the same thing with with number of rooms under capacity. So I click on your master, which is district. I'm going to hold the shift key down. Again, I'm going to click on McCartney. That, that activates all the sheets. And then I'm going to highlight those. So that's G G6 through G9. And then I'm going to right click again and go to Format Cells and Custom. And this time we're going to make the, the numbers green. So in general again, we're going to do bracket. And this time instead of red, we're going to put green. Close it with a bracket. And then it's pound, comma, pound, 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 comma, pound, pound, pound. 
and then semicolon twice, and then the quotation mark, and then the minus symbol, and the quotation mark again, and now we're going to click OK. Okay, so we formatted all three sheets at the same time. So now we, we have to clean this up a little bit, so we're going to do totals. So this one is a total, so we'll go ahead and do auto sum, and then hit enter, and then we're going to go back to our total here, and we're just going to drag that across. And you notice that when I do this, the divisible sign will change to a number. Okay, and then I'm going to format these to, uh, we'll format them to one decimal place. So we've got one decimal place. And this one is going to be a sum as well. So we'll click sum and enter. And I can actually grab the fill handle and drag that across and that'll be the sum entered. Now the problem with this one is that when we did it this way, you notice that the formula becomes red. We don't really want that to be red. So let's clear contents here and auto sum we're going to auto sum all three of those and hit enter. It's still red. So let's go ahead and format this one again. So we're going to format this cell. And once we've got this in here, see it says red, we can actually go down and find the one that says green, which is just below it, and click on that because we put that custom format in so we don't need to retype it. So now we've got that one. And now they're all formatted the same. Okay, so we've got this one. You notice these, the ones for overcapacity are uh, red, ones for undercapacity are green. All the zeros are taken out and replaced with a minus sign. Okay, all of our formulas in, are in. So watch what happens here. So right now for grade six, we've got 304 students. Let's go to McCartney and change this to a thousand students. And we just hit enter. Now if we go back to district, see how that changes automatically? Because we have them formatted to read from the other sheets to our master. Now a couple of the things we you know we might want to do here, Hillview School. This is black. Let's go ahead and make it the same color as our tab color. So we're going to change that to blue. And we'll go to McCartney. And we're going to highlight that. Change that one to green. OK, so now they, they match the tabs. That one's going to stay black. All right, so that's the end of this one. So have fun, and remember to um, do your numbers and uh, follow through. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.